listening. They're not listening to me. They're not listening to Elon. They're not listening. Yeah. They just they have these things, and they're just like religious dogma, and they lock down on those things. And yeah. Dave Chappelle's a transphobe. We got to take him out. Dave Chappelle's a living saint. Yeah, he's <laughs> Come a beautiful on, person. He's untouchable. Amazing person. Um, but he yeah. makes jokes about things that are real in our culture, and that's he's, a real thing in our culture. And if you say there's a thing that you can't make fun yeah. of, that thing's bullshit. If yeah. there's ever a thing that you can't make fun of, that thing is bullshit. Um, dude, yeah. Um, <laughs> I had to do, I was taking care of somebody. Actually, I wanted to tell you this. I was taking care of, I had to take care of somebody that had life-saving surgery, and I was helping them recuperate, and so I was just staying with them, and, and it was like, you know, you, you have a brush with death. You have you see your mortality. Things are down, whatever else. And when we, like, caught our breath, I was like, let me just do something. And I put on a clip of you. And it was, it was, it was a, you were telling the story about like a hotel and you, 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 you was, it was you, Segura and Chappelle. But anyway, we were watching you guys do various bits of comedy on YouTube. And I made this person, you guys made this person laugh so hard we had to stop watching it because they were going to bust a stitch. <laughs> it was like the best medicine you've ever seen. And it was, um, it was, uh, you were telling a fucking crazy story about, about waking up in a hotel and everyone's cramming down the exit. Yeah. The that, hotel was on fire. <laughs> Yeah, that was great. And then it was Segura doing um, when disabilities are funny. He goes, he goes, not all disabilities are funny. He goes, but sometimes they're funny. And he does <laughs> like a 10 minute piece on that. And we're just trying. And it was just such a great um, transmission of just comedy just being The thing medicine. is, comedy is comedy. And to try to say it's normal speech is ridiculous because it's not your opinions. It's things that are funny about these things. Like when someone's saying something about anything that's inappropriate, you should never say that. That's Louis C.K.'s whole act is saying the wrong thing. You're not supposed to say that, so he's going to say it. Shocking. And it's yeah. hilarious. But yeah. it's also really well written and funny. This is not like if you sat him down yeah. and asked him his opinion on people and, and life, he no. would give you a different version. Sure. This is just an art form. It's just like a movie. Like you go to a Quentin Tarantino movie, none of those people really died. Okay? This is just art. It's just like something's creating something. But that, and that's the sense where I feel like it's coming back. Because, like, look at the shit that Chappelle's pulling. Yeah. Look at the shit that you're pulling. Like, people are saying stuff again. Well, people are realizing that you don't have to give in you to this because it's a small, very vocal minority of people, but most people are tired of it. Most people miss old... You yeah. don't get a good comedy movie anymore. You don't get super bad Bro, anymore. They I can't make that movie anymore. Can you imagine? Like, Tropic, Tropic Thunder, Tropic Thunder. You can't make that movie. You can't make that movie. I asked Robert Downey Jr. He, <laughs> he goes, oh, you could. You could. <laughs> but <laughs> you can't. I mean, um, we <laughs> fucked ourselves. We fucked ourselves yeah. by listening to these mental patients. I that's think it'll they come are. back. I think some of it's going to come, come back because I think it's going to come now. It's going to um usually right. It'll swing back. You look at movies from the seventies; they're fucking brutal. Oh yeah, everything now is so sanitized and like you don't. But like, it's still Tarantino though. He's sort he's of he's the like, only one. He's sort of the like last, grandfathered in. The last time that I saw a scene in a movie that that made me really cringe was in Bastards when when the 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 bear Jew comes out of the cave, and the guys the Nazi soldiers he's he's on his knees, and you're so used to that they cut. On impact, mm -hmm. I mean, he comes out and he fucking takes that swing, and they don't cut. Yeah. I don't know how they film that shit. Movie magic, but you you go, oh god! And yeah. Brad Pitt's sitting there chewing on a piece of bread and like clapping, you know, like eating while this guy gets beaten to death. <sighs> and but like I remember being like, oh, because usually you watch John yeah. Wick, you watch whatever the fuck, you watch a thousand people die on screen, it doesn't matter. But every now and then they make it so real. Yeah, and those seventies movies back in the day. Oh yeah. <sighs> Because all the shit was real. Oh, yeah. Car chases were real. Yeah, man. And now I watch movies and I'm like, dude, come on. You like, remember Bullet? The, like 10 minutes Steve of the movie. Steve McQueen? Like, car chase. Steve McQueen, yeah. yeah. It's just motorcycle. To the streets of San Francisco. <laughs> Crazy. With dude, a Mustang and a fucking Charger. There's a movie with Anthony Hopkins and Alec Baldwin where Anthony Hopkins has to fight a bear. I think the whole oh, movie is about yeah. them fighting. Dude, they actually, they used Bart the Bear from Legends of the Fall and whatever else. Ooh. But it is the most, you watch it, you will be blown out of your seat. Because Anthony Hopkins is 10 feet from a fucking grizzly bear. And then the tr you can tell where they swap it. If you watch it really closely, you can tell where they swap him out. And the trainer gets like hit with a paw. Ugh. But this guy is wrestling with his pet bear. Yo, seriously. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Bro. Look at that fucking bear. 
Look at look at fucking Anthony Hopkins, the best. How does he live in this? How's that even possible? Because they just tear you apart. <laughs> <laughs> look at his face. Just trust me. Just Jamie, go. To, go oh, to like halfway. Right go this to like halfway of this video. This is no, so no, no. ridiculous. That bear is like barely chasing him. Go like halfway, so halfway stupid. down this video. Oh, he's got the fire oh, out. No, 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 no. I don't no, need no. to see this. I'm gonna have a different opinion of it. <laughs> I'm no, get angry. no, 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 no. <laughs> That's not the clip. There's a clip. Did you see the Revenant? Yeah, it pissed me off, cartoon bear. Ah, CGI bear. And I love Tom Hardy, and I love DiCaprio, but that, come on, that CGI bear didn't get You me. know, that's based on a real story. Yeah. Yeah, that's yeah. based on a guy who really did wow. get mauled. He, he crawled like yeah. 20 miles. My, my main takeaway from that movie is a lot of cold water. Cold water? I just watched every yeah. time he fucking crawled in a cold, cold stream. I was just like, this Do is you know brutal. that incident didn't really take place in that environment, though? The the actual incident took place on the plains. It it wasn't the same environment as uh, the oh, they just rainforest. Put, they just put it up there. They put him in. I think they filmed it. See if they filmed the Revenant in BC. I think they filmed it in in the like the rainforest of BC. You know, BC is a lot like Seattle. Forest. Well, I think they filmed it in like a dense forested area, and I, I don't think the real incident took place in any sort of environment like that. I remember Matter it being fact, like I'm positive of that winter deciduous forest, but not rainforest. Waterfall forest. scenes were filmed in Montana, but the wiki says it was takes it takes place in the Great Plains. Right. So, but where did they film all the forest scenes? I think it was Canada. Yeah. I think it's BC because it just is way more dense mm. than the Great Plains. It's not what the Great, it's not what they experience. Like the, when this guy crawled, it's like he's crawling across the fucking plains. <laughs> like this guy got m torn apart by a bear and crawled. And actually, crawled. initial plans were to film the final scenes in Canada, although the weather was ultimately too warm, so they had to go to Argentina where there was snow Whoa. on the ground to shoot the ending. Argentina, Whoa. that's Jesus. the ending. What about the other stuff in the woods, like when they get attacked by the Native Americans? I thought that was in BC. Either way, whatever it is, it's like very dense forest, which is not what the not it, historically accurate. No, but you got to do a little bit of that. Do you? I mean, it's, a you? it's about the plains. It's real. Yeah, but really then there'd be no trees. Like trees are central in that movie. Like the 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 stars. No, so the movie's kind of bullshit. That. Like. Isn't there a way to do uh, it? Well, then every Alberta. movie's bullshit. Then. Alberta. Yeah, yeah. There it goes. Okay. Canada. I mean, even you know. Uh, Alberta's crazy thick. I mean, every movie then that you like. You know, like every like historical movie, you go, how much of it is true? Oh yeah. Like I just watched, you know, I you hate watched those movies. Ford versus Ferrari, and I was like, how much of this is true? And they're like, none of it. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, Did any of this really happen? No. Okay, so the uh, the Cana Cananaskis.